What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So, we're gonna change it up this video, alright? Uh, so, I. Give me a second. Uh, my throat hurts. Um, anyways, so I have two of these toxic waste candies. They're really sour. I've had them before. They are really sour. Alright. And at uh, two random spots in the video, I will pop them in my mouth. Alright. And then we will continue to play while I am while they are in my mouth. Alright. So yeah, let's just hold up. I guess it would be smart to open the game first. So let me just open the game, all right? And then I'll screen share. All right, and we'll hide this. And we are in the game. All right. Also, I'll tell you guys when I put one of these candies in my mouth, so you guys aren't left in the dark. And here we are. Awesome. I like that intro. Or the menu music. That, I didn't actually recognize that before, but let's go ahead and continue and get off of this. Do you believe Jonas back there? Blaming me for everything. Me. I can't imagine dealing with him the whole night. Let's just get off this island. I am done with this haunted island. I bet the characters are as well, so this episode, we are finishing this game. No matter how long it takes, I'm hoping it doesn't take an hour, but we'll see. I'll be not just like attacked him by now. He must be so annoyed. His whole shtick. He just had a bad moment, Ren, okay? It's been a night of extraordinary circumstances. I think we can cut the guy some slack. Okay. Oh, good-hearted one. I'll turn the other cheek if it'll make you happy. Oh, shut up, man. I'm going down the ramp. So I should probably turn it down just a little bit so you guys can actually hear me over the music. Which is great, by the way. That's a pile of rocks, isn't it? Let's go ahead and pop out our radio. The island is famously named after Colonel Caleb Edwards for his glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined holders is a time honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. It will be over soon. I think not. Also, I need to make sure I'm going the right way. I need to get to Main Street. So. Yeah, to have a fence. That's good. It's always. I'm guessing that's. What is that? Can we go in there? What is this? Okay. Does it say anything? The version of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. The above ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, molded with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call. 
Call and Response System, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. An alarm and compulsory evacuation. This early version of what would today be considered a blast and... All right, cool. It's a uh, shelter, fog shelter. Nuclear blast shelter. Uh, this was the Adler state, doesn't it? Not interested. All right. Let's go around this way. I do not trust that bridge, so... No. Oh, I can left click to open and close that. That's cool. No, actually, that's the Adler Estate right there. I don't know if the other place was, but we are not going to the Adler Estate. We're going to Main Street, and then we'll find our way into the Adler Estate. All right. Cool. Run. All right. Don't want to fall behind. Because he is high. All right, Discovery Cliff. Can we go in here? Nah. Go to the cliffs. Woo! Awesome. I'll be right back. While that is loading. All right, and we are back. Um, and what is this place? This data command annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. A type of radio frequency identification, wall, standing for wave-assisted lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. This data command annex as it is. Dot was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications for. I don't know. I don't know what to do with those. Can I make do something for them? Hold up. I mean... Nothing. Alright. I have no idea what to do with those, so... Let's go ahead and... <clears throat> get to Main Street. Uh, where's this go? Main Street. Go to town! Woo! Also, guys, I'm gonna pop one of these toxic waste candies into my mouth right now. As you guys can hear me opening the package. Alright. First one going in. Oh, alright. Oh, all right, all right. Well, the Parks and Facilities Building is just on the way here. It's not far. Yeah, we must be close, then. Yeah. 
Oh, cool. cool. I think the lemon flavor is like the worst one. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Where are we going, antiques and gifts, or going in here? That's Alice. That's Clarissa. What? How'd you get up here? You're alive. You're alive. Man, I've never been so happy to see you in my life. You gonna say anything? Jesus Christ, Alex. What is happening? Oh, this is what did I look like when, when that stuff happened? Okay, just what do you guys want? This isn't, this is just really lost its charm, I have to say. All right. Oh, can you, like, I mean, you helped me before, right? Can you help her? Is there... Working on it, bro. Can you do it again? The sour ramp, so... I'm working on it. Okay, I'll try. Marissa, how are you? Uh, honey. Alex, seriously, can you help me with this? Marissa, start. Can you, like, run down there and let us get a look at you? No. 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 You think you can control me? I I'm trying to help you. This is this will help me. Help me. How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. Don't you? There's a ghost in you right now. There's, they've like perverted this whole. Ghost. Sounds pretty scary, kids. Better leave the man alone. There are. No machine has no more heart than a brain. No heart. Okay. Is she okay? Or, um, that's a complicated question. Larissa, are you all right? Steady. Just take it easy. I'm fine. I can. I'm fine. Are you sure? Because you took quite a little tumble. Back to normal, can you help? Back to normal? What does that even mean? How did I get here? She's alive. You don't know how you got up there? You remember that part of this, right? Being up on the thing? Larissa, you were dead a minute ago. Do you? Do you realize that? We saw your body, no joke. Okay, well, I'm alive now, so hallelujah. You really don't remember anything? No, I remember something. I remember you with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the... What? It's Clarissa's turn? Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend and your idiot best friend and your new stepbrother are all... Look, when we went into the cave, we found a... And I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and I think it jump started everything. I see. But I mean, come on, like, who knew this would happen? We thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing we are stuck in until graduation. Clarissa, <laughs> seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course, um. it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. 
She was both of us. Jonas was there too. It's not like I decided to end the world tonight or something. Oh my God. You see this? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right now. You're going to learn, Jonas. I swear to God. The town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. Clarissa. And the giant lit up. Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, do you take a very sick person to see it that way? And I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Uh, she it doesn't a- make it my fault. Anyone could have been there. Anyone. And then they would have had to watch him die. Unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, I'm not listening to this anymore. I I can't even believe we're talking about this right now. Mm, Ren, it wasn't my fault, really. You don't have to convince me of anything, Alex. All right. Now we're going to break into that office, we're going to find the damn key, and we're going to go home. No. No? What do you call oh, the absolute Boy, I got a massive basket of deja vu up in my head just now. You ever get that? I haven't had one of those since I saw those two brown dogs. Yes, I have gotten and presumably will continue to get deja vu. It's like a, it feels like an iguana running up and down your spine or something. Yeesh. All right, the office is like right there, so let's do it. Yep, let's get the keys and get out of here. But the door's gonna be locked, isn't it? Yep, this isn't much. All right, we're kicking this baby in, like a a western or something. Really? That's it. That's uh, it. You're darn right it is. I got the I got the legs. You got the wide baby birth and shoulders. Let's do this. I just wish I could remember what else she said. Like, where they even keep the keys, or hey, like where they start the mail and stuff. I think it's a banshee used a lot in the Korean War. Actually, it. Oh wait, <laughs> it's a banshee. Now that's funny, right? We're dealing with goats, and a banshee's painted on the ceiling, <laughs> right? It's like, I mean, it's not hilarious or whatever, but it's uh, comical. Just forget I asked, okay? I do you that favor. You know it's great. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Hey, it says that. Here's another one. It says they're wall radios. Wave-assisted lock. Huh. I guess it says it's that frequency thing, where each frequency is like a key to open doors around here. Oh, yeah. They use them like identification tags, I think. Uh, okay, cool, great. Oh, cool, check this out. Personal reference of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family- This will be Hasn't her family been coming to things back to town? We can head back. I'm just gonna here. This is steal a boat and leave. Cool. It'll be that easy. I mean, that was five hours well. Classic opening. This island and its history is a lie. Wow! Firing on all cylinders right at the start. What? What could that mean? I've been compelled by both forces outside my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now... Oh my god, the, the cantaloupe was destroyed by friendly fire? You've been lied to all this time. The USS Walter Roy, a destroyer escort, sunk the USS Canola with friendly fire on October 25th, 1943. It held a de- developmental nuclear reactor 
in its belly and had been sent out weeks earlier as a test of its capabilities. Relatively few even know of its existence, which tripled the base's confusion when the submarine's communications had been cut. No one outside of a handful of us would ever know the truth. I would discover later that a weapons technician of the Walter Roy had been at Francis <clears throat> Salter's wedding. Salter was an engineer on the Canaloa. I don't know why, but it's strange to me. Cool. I feel any further in action. They carry a far. This is outside of control. Like, like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? Who knows? Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I've commandeered the old Cardinal Station, 140.1, and used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. To whosoever finds the material, know that I am discomfited for keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly, for the interest of time itself. Oh, Christ. This is, this is like literally a treasure map. Cool. It is not literally a treasure map. It is literally some old woman's diuretic ramblings. We got the key. It's this new radio. That's the main thing. Well, we found a letter. Woo. Only, like, so much more to find, right? There's... Oh, no, it's All right. All right, let's. Ah, so we've already missed three. Cool. There's a lot more to find. Oh, this is the one that Ren just read. So I'm not going to bother reading it. So. <laughs> Alex. Why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees. The sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were going to go swimming anyway. You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. The sun is not out. The sun is, I guess, it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was going to be like overcast. Hold up. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. I'm not going to say anything. We didn't bring drinks? We didn't bring drinks. Oh, food. Today turned out to be flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. Water did drink. Okay. I thought you'd laugh at me. <laughs> Why would I laugh at you? You're laughing right now. <laughs> Not because of. Oh my God! Forget it. Okay, I was stuck from. All right. Where are we going? I have no idea. We're back in time. So, I don't know if it's ghost or the vision or... It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's the space Mr. Collins English? Uh, it's been... 
I, I don't know. It's kind of ah, sorry. I think, yeah, I, I accidentally left my phone on the ferry because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God. You need to go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> okay, I guess. So. Um, <laughs> um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool. I know you guys are really close and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts taking all their time for their girlfriends or whatever. So I think it would be cool if we could like continue to do things together. Yeah, I totally understand. And yeah, let's uh, do stuff. No, okay. cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you like a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this. And Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah. Love him too. I if I had to skip before, but he didn't. I can how many squats I can do. What's it up to you? Six? Only on burrito days. <laughs> on burrito days, it's like eight. Ah, oh, Jesus, thank God you're back. It's like an eternity sitting here with this one. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, I know what she's talking about. Hey, I'm interesting. I'm entertaining. <laughs> thank you. So, I actually really want to go something so i'm gonna run into town and get like a soda anybody want anything um no i'm good no thanks i'll be back cool okay i'm here what's the story I want the news i want the alex first edition what's going on i'm doing all right yeah <sighs> yeah Emma, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something for her, so thanks for chaperone. I know that in mind, so... Third wheel. All right. Don't get all smooshy smooch while I'm in general. <laughs> because that would never happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Oh, God. Do what you want, man. Don't ask me for advice. <laughs> okay, I'm taking that as endorsement, just so you know. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, Bucko. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alright. I noticed his voice is echoing, so... I don't know if you guys noticed it, but... All right, back to the present, hopefully. I'm hoping. Please, present, now. Hey, kid. Present. What the hell are you doing? You all right? You've just been shuffling your feet back and forth and talking to yourself like you're having a brain thing. Are you doing okay? I'm like seriously concerned here. Ren, I just, I think I just saw Michael. Ow, where? Here? Is he? I was, it was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was, it's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Just now? Like, just, what did you see? What went on? Describe it for me. It was a day I can remember, actually, when Michael and I spent a random Saturday on the beach here. It was just unbelievable to, <sighs> oh, good. You did it, guy. Jonas, sorry, pal, but that's another five bucks you owe me. I'm like 50 bucks behind. Give me a break. <laughs> How is that my fault? Boy, you two are getting along awfully well for people in a world of garbage right now. Well, silver linings. Oh my Bye. god, I should, I should have never left. It doesn't matter what happened. We got a, a new radio. But we can open the gate? We can open the gate, I think. Uh, some... <sighs> Weird stuff happened along the way, but I mean, I guess whatever, that's the new normal now. What weird stuff? Well, like Clarissa was there, we had her, and then she wasn't, and we didn't. So, there is that. What? Where is she? Yeah, should we maybe 
look for her, possibly. Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on to Clarissa. <sighs> All right. I think we should to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? Yeah, but there's other places I want to tune into right now, so... Or... Oh, goodbye. Where are you going? I thought we... Aren't we sticking to the, the find the boat and paddle away game? I can't leave, so... I guess we're just on your plan, then. Alright, I can't leave. Let's just open the gate, then. Jeez. Oh, God. Hopefully. Give it a whirl. Uh, the Adler says something about 140.1. You're on the Lima, India. Golf, hotel, tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, golf, hotel, tango, for the ships coming home. Turn on the light. Turn on the Lima, India, golf, hotel, tango, for the ships coming home. Okay. Oh, the lighthouse. All right, well, we can go back to the lighthouse. So, actually, we can't. Let's just open the door then. I don't know what it is. All right. Turn on the. Yeah, this is going to be a while. This radio goes from station 50 to 150, so... I'm just looking forward to it brighter, maybe. Cool. cool. Right. <sighs> to the Adler Estate. Also, putting in another toxic waste candy. Oh, God. All right. All right. Three, two, one. Hate the lemon flavor. Okay. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. Ah, oh, yes. That sounds cool. Yeah, see? Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, anyway. She had to back and forth here all summer. Okay, okay. Oh. Basement door. <laughs> All right. All right, back to There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. You were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a chest is all it says. 29, 18, 15, 4. A chest? Have you seen one yet? <sighs> Negative. But maybe I just missed it. She made
made a lot of what should I call these slides? They're not videos. Um, silent memories. Cool. Oh, all right, where's Ren and Nona? Are they somewhere? Ren, oh, they're, they're already over by the boat. Okay, cool. I'm thinking there's no escape, but let's just... Oh, oh, it's like a it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not it wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio. How would we know? Sometimes You're when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to like hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really, but we can try that now if you think it'll help. Cool. Um, I'm gonna go inside. Maybe there's something. There's another wall lock. All right, let's. It's a radio lock. Woman sure did love her antiquated security. She killed this way first. Nope. That is an empty gizmo. Cool. Inside we go. Find the rest of Jesus. Touch me like. Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have, like, a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. Okay, sure. Look, Rose is here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good... Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yes, fine. Okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom is she concerned? She left notes everywhere, she said, hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. No, I think it's pretty cool, actually. I, I could see myself doing something like this for the the people I leave behind. Well, leave a cheat sheet for the laziest of us, okay? Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a, a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? It's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then. I don't know. Maybe they needed to chart... Signals through space or something? Maybe. Okay. Um, oh, that's an attic? I thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure. No. Oh, you know what? This might be the, uh, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. You think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? She must have figured it out, that there were ghosts here and the potential for them to be running amok. I guess it's a possibility. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. 
All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? John has found them in a chest upstairs. So say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Alex. Oh, Alex. No. Down here, please. <laughs> Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? Things are different, except in a different way. <laughs> Just come downstairs so we can get started. In the <laughs> basement? I don't like this. I can. Here comes a candle to light you to bed. Nona, come on, honey. It's find the motor. Run, come on. We got a boat to catch, buddy. Okay, cool. Um. I don't like this one, but... Come on, Jonas. I really need you. Don't let down on me now. Ah, there you are. Oh. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I don't want to be trained. What do you You signed up for this, Alexander? In the caverns, you tuned in to our school. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. How was I meant to know what the hell was going to happen? And yet, without understanding your funding, you still acting. Don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something to see our offspring. We will go and find you. See? A simple and good humor can be your mother's apple pie. And what if I, what if I don't, huh? What if I just stand here and don't go along with this? Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's your choice. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, nine, eight. Are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models have been the best But right now, we have wise to think of radiation among other sons. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're. My spy. With my little eye, a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. A seven. A six. A seven. A four. Three. Uh, is it the this painting? It looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round out, so uh, stay quiet. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. He has no. Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Friends? Uh, well, there's the rub. I'm not going to try to 
So anyways, guys, if you like that video, please leave a like. And if you are new around here, please consider subscribing. And if you are subscribed or you are going to subscribe, make sure that when you hit that subscribe button, there is a bell icon that will pop up next to it. You press that, you'll be notified of when I upload next. All right? So without further ado.